that. Okay, so we're going to do something uh, different today. I've not tried this before, so this is a first for me as well. Um, we're going to do a, a galaxy, and I'm going to concentrate on the sprinkling of the, the stars using a, a brush and trying to accumulate the stars in the middle. As you look at the Milky Way side on, you've got the circular bands, and then you've got that rounded bit in the middle where all the stars accumulated in the middle of the galaxy so that's what I'm going to try and do I haven't got a picture with me so I'm just going to do it by eye now as I've said before the versatility of if you've got a a, a bench that circul that turns around well, voila. okay so what we're going to do is we're going to lay down our black first and then we're going to put our um, nebula top streaks across and then we're going to use a brush and we're going to concentrate on the stars and try and create a, like a, uh, a sphere of stars in the middle I'm not sure whether to do this diagonally or just straight across. Let's see if we can do it diagonally. Let's see how we go.
Okay, so you just go mad with your colours. As many colours as you want. And the benefit of when you're doing this, when you've got the background wet, is that whatever colours you lay down, they disperse and become almost like, like smoke or... Um, and you haven't got that clear definition between one colour and the next, they blend. Um, you can see these streaks. I've just put a little bit of clear on there just to help that blend out a little bit. As I said, we're trying to um, imagine that this is some sort of a galaxy with all the streaks of gas, all the, the, the clouds of gas. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get our we're get our little container. And we're going to get white. I'm going to get our brush. Um, I'm going to flick the little stars and try and get them in the middle there and, and try and bubble it. And then we might let it dry for a little while and then we'll put some more white on there and put some more stars. As I said, the benefit of doing this now is it, it disperses. You haven't got that clear definition. So we'll do that now with these smaller ones and then you'll have this like a haze and that's what I'm going to try and achieve anyway this uh, like one of bubbles in around here of white, white stars and as I said then we'll let it dry for a little while and then we'll put some more white and so it's stars we won't saturate it, just enough to um, we might even put a little bit of blue or something we'll see how we go waiting for this to dry is I've, I've got some very light blue um, it's called creation blue it's not quite it's blue it's got a blue tinge to it it's not quite white it's just it's not a lot enough white and I just give it a very light spray around the middle there you can still see the banding of the, the galaxy throughout so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my brush again I'm going to get the white paint and I'm going to try and concentrate it in here. So what we might also do, as a point of interest, is we'll get our little silhouettes here, our little templates, and we might just give those a quick spray just to give that like a halo, and then we'll put a star sort of around here somewhere, or this point over here. Um, just 
just to make it look as though they've, you know, there's planets in the outer, um, outer rings of this um, galaxy. Okay, so what we will do is. Again, what I'm trying to do here is just concentrate the stars in the middle here and then blend them out and blend them out to the side. So I don't need a huge amount. I'm getting rid of, I'm taking a lot of the excess paint off. So uh, not bad. Well, we'll let that dry a little bit, and then I'll put a star, maybe a couple of stars or something. Um, I might try that again, but with a different. Try these templates again with a different colour, though that white's playing up. I might just try it with the light blue again just to give it maybe just try one template and see how we go but I'll let this dry first as I said this is an experiment I've never done this before um, so what's a learning curve for followers so um, yeah I'll put the heat gun on give it 10-15 minutes just let it dry over and put some and I'll put a, uh, a close star and I'll see if I can use one of the templates and I'll put a like a blue halo around part of it just to give that indication of a a planet that's you know we're looking at the behind of it the, the, the back of the, the planet um, as it's facing the Sun and we'll see what that looks like okay so We've got our, our group of stars in the middle there, which isn't looking too bad. So what we might do is we'll try our template again. Instead of using the white, because I'm having problems with the white at the moment, 
So you can use whatever colour you want. You can use yellow, green, do it with polka dots if you want. Um, so I'm going to put that on there and then just give it a quick spray of the blue. That um, creation blue which is really light, it's almost white. edge and we'll do our star. Now as I've said before if you lift if you lift one end of your of your straight edge if you put it flat down you're gonna get a demarcation line you're gonna get a, a definite line there so you want to avoid that so when you spray you get a little bit of that overspray underneath the straight edge so we put this wherever we're gonna we think we're going to put our star. So roughly work that out and
Okay, so that's our um, finished painting, an interesting um, experiment. Got to think about this one. Okay, now what I've done is I put a few extra colours on there and I've got my paper, scrunched it up and just dabbed it to give it a bit of texture. Um, so what we will now do we'll put that, put our template back on there and we'll just spray around the back and around there again with some more colour and that's pretty close we to put some black Blue looks good. play with these things and so we'll take that off it's not looking too bad so what I'm going to try and do here this could be a, a YouTube first I'm not sure but I'm going to try and do a, a comment but I'm going to use two different colours. I'm going to try it. I don't know how successful I'm going to be. So, like I said, this could be a YouTube first. Um, so, we'll see how we go with this. and. Um, This could be a history making event here. Drum roll, you know, brump, and all the rest of it. So what we've got to try and do is make sure that our nozzle is facing the right direction. So we'll put the white down first and then we might use yellow or even green. We've just got to make sure that that nozzle is facing the same direction. Theoretically speaking, of course. Yes, So. We will put this, quick tap, there is our yes, baby girls. So that's our common. So let's try a little bit of orange. So what I'm gonna do I've got my table, as I said, it's really handy being able to maneuver this around. So I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the can on roughly and tap. Beautiful. So there you go. This could be a historical thing here. First time that I am aware of on YouTube 
we've done a comet with two different colors. I reckon that looks pretty neat. So there we go. We'll um some more clear on that. And we'll call that quit sewing. Again, cross, down. Oh, there we go. Let that dry and okay. Well, that's not looking too bad, I don't think. So I think we're going to call that um, done. Finish padding and um, overall for a first uh, first go, I don't reckon it looks too bad. Just want to get that glare out. So this is um, this is our finished padding. And I don't reckon that looks too bad at all. <coughs> okay. Have fun. You can do this too.